All praises unto Yahweh, Bahashum Yahweh Shai, Bahashum Wawakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth. No matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons, and daughters as well. The water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. Okay? Having this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is just like having a beautiful wife, a priceless, beautiful wife. Okay? Now, being with this woman, it comes with many trials. It comes with many tests. Just like if a man was to marry off of his, if a man was to marry off his daughter, the man that he is marrying his daughter off to, he may test him to make sure he is worthy of his daughter. Well, this wisdom is likened spiritually unto a woman and it can also be likened unto a woman that is being married off to the elect okay a very beautiful woman and this very beautiful woman comes with trials it comes with um tribulation it comes with tests okay but nevertheless being in this ministry being in this truth we are joined unto a beautiful woman. Okay? So let's go to the book of Proverbs. Chapter 5 and verse 18. Let thy fountain be blessed and rejoiced with the wife of thy youth. I'll read it again. Proverbs chapter 5 and verse 18. Let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. So having this knowledge, wisdom and understanding, we should be rejoicing just as you would rejoice with a beautiful wife. OK, if you have a beautiful wife, you want to spend time with her. OK. You respect her as the weaker vessel. You want to do things for her. You want to make sure that you're getting that quality time with her. Right. Well, being in this truth, we want to put that quality time in with this knowledge, wisdom and understanding. Because, again, this wisdom is likened unto a woman, a beautiful woman. And this beautiful woman is also known as the wife of our youth. And the reason why she is known as the wife of our youth is because according to the scriptures, what's known as reincarnation exists. Okay. We are being joined back to this wisdom because at one time we had this wisdom before. So let's touch on the book to, you know, go into a better understanding of what I'm trying to say so I don't lose anybody. We got to let the scriptures talk. Let's go to the book of Jude, chapter one and verse five. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this. Knew what? Knew this wisdom. This wisdom is compared unto a woman, it's compared unto a wife. It's known as the wife of our youth. OK, because in our past life, we knew her. We were joined unto her. But see, we fell away. OK, and now we're being. Joined together unto her again, that relationship, so to speak, is being rekindled. OK. I will therefore put you in remembrance, 
though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believe not. Okay, so through this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, we have a hedge. Going back into the old world, okay, the old days, you see what happened with the great destruction and the great deliverance of Egypt. Because we have this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, we know how to walk. We know how we shouldn't walk. We know the do's and the don'ts so that we may have a hedge around us and the times that we're coming into here in these last days. Okay? So Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is putting us in remembrance with the wife of our youth. Because we once knew her already. Okay? So, seeing that we once knew her, we have to treat this ministry as such, as a woman that you care about, as a woman you want to spend time with, okay? You do everything in your power, you know, to, to be a, a good husband, so to speak. So you want to get all into this truth. Just like you see a beautiful woman, you want to get all into her in various ways, right? We want to make sure we're getting all into this truth. Revelations chapter 2 and verse 4. Nevertheless, I have someone against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. So we once knew the wife of our youth. We once knew our first love, but we fell away. But now we're being placed back into remembrance and receiving this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding again, or receiving this woman again. Okay, we have to hold on to her. And while holding on to her, we'll be put through you know, various tests and tribulations. But it's all a part of, you know, how the Lord set it up. Okay. So she is our first love. She is the wife of our youth. Before, you know, whatever woman we are with now. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Gave us this knowledge, wisdom and understanding. Our first woman, so to speak, was this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Before the woman was created, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding was here first. That spiritual woman. Okay? She's also likened unto a daughter. Okay? But you can also look at her spiritually as a wife also. So our first love that we left now that we're turning back, we have to seek the Lord 10 times more. We have to get into Sophia 10 times more. Okay, we have to make up for a lot of lost time, so to speak. Just like with the wife, if you separate for, from your wife for a while, when you join back together with her, you want to make up for all the lost time that you could have had with her, but you didn't. Okay, so coming back into this ministry, we have to make sure we make up for that lost time. Okay? Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. So we're hoping to receive mercy. And that's why it's highly important that we hold on to the gospel. We hold on to this truth. We hold on to this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. OK, seeing that this truth is compared to a woman. So let me go a little further into that with the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter one and verse seven. Unto whom hath the knowledge of wisdom been made manifest and who hath understood her great experience? Notice how. It compared knowledge of wisdom to a woman. OK, there is one wise and greatly to be feared. The Lord sitting upon his throne, he created her and saw her 
and numbered her and poured her out upon all his works. So this truth, knowledge, wisdom and understanding is just like a woman. OK, just like a priceless woman. A woman that you can't just, you know, have some shekels and be like, let me get this woman. Let me get that woman. No, th this type of woman, you can't pay for her. This woman is priceless. This woman is going to lead to a kingdom. No other woman is going to lead to a kingdom. Only Sophia. Proverbs chapter eight. In verse 10, receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. So this knowledge is more important than gold. Verse 11, for wisdom is better than rubies. And all things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. So she is better than rubies. And you know what's beautiful? The scriptures say the same thing about a, a, a actual physical woman, a woman of the Lord. OK, or a virtuous woman, a strong woman, a strong woman. Is a feminine woman, a strong woman is a woman who walks according to what Yahweh by show me how shy says, OK, in humility and submission unto her husband. OK. This knowledge, wisdom and understanding can't be compared to rubies. It can't be compared to gold and silver. In fact, gold, silver and rubies, all of these things were created through her, through knowledge, wisdom and understanding of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. OK, so she is priceless. OK, so again, seeing that. This wisdom is compared to a woman. She would be like a priceless woman. So to a de to a degree. You can say that this knowledge, wisdom and understanding spiritually is also a virtuous woman. All right. Proverbs 31. And verse 10. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. So a virtuous woman, her price is far above rubies. See, a whore, a thought in today's society, they can be bought. And not only can they be bought, they can be bought with a cheap price. But see, a righteous woman, a woman of value, a woman of worth, she is priceless. OK, rubies cannot afford her. So in a sense of this wisdom. In the sense of this wisdom. This wisdom cannot be obtained through gold and silver and rubies. OK, let's jump back to the book of Proverbs, chapter eight. And verse 11, for wisdom is better than rubies and all things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. So this this knowledge, wisdom and understanding can't be compared to gold, silver and rubies. Wisdom is better than rubies. Proverbs 31 and 10. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. So an actual physical woman. OK. A woman who's in her right mind, a woman of the Lord, women who walk like Sarah, which you're not really going to find that today. OK, but my point being a righteous woman. She's priceless the same way how. Having this knowledge, wisdom and understanding is priceless. Nothing can be compared to it. Because. See, when you look at the elect, the elect are the only ones that, that can obtain this knowledge, wisdom and understanding. So she's likened unto a, a chaste woman who's not sleeping around with everybody. She's only sleeping with one body. Be in the body of Yahweh Shai spiritually. OK. So a virtuous woman in this case that I'm bringing out, I'm speaking of a virtuous woman in case of this truth, this knowledge, wisdom and understanding. 
because wisdom is priceless. Let's go into that a little bit more. OK, let's stay in the book of Proverbs. Chapter three. And verse 13. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. So finding this wisdom is like finding a beautiful woman. When you find a beautiful woman, it puts a smile on your face. The scriptures even tell you, it tells you how a beautiful woman cheers, cheers up the countenance of man. Okay. So us being in this truth, we should be happy. Yeah, we go through things. We catch hell, but we should never really feel like we just catching hell to the point we feel like throwing in a towel. We just so miserable and jacked up because if we feel, you know, a certain kind of way, we might have to check ourselves because, yeah, we're going to go through trials and tribulations. But we should never really feel like, you know, um, we, we should never really feel like the Lord is 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 doing too much, like we don't deserve it. And we should never feel so overwhelmed that we feel like throwing in a towel. OK, and we should never feel like because of the hell that we're catching, the Lord isn't dealing with us, because if we're doing the right thing, we understand that it's all through trial and tribulation. It's all through the test. OK. So being in this knowledge, being or, you know, being in this ministry, having this knowledge, wisdom and understanding, we should be happy. Verse 14 for the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver. And the gain thereof than fine gold. So again, this truth is worth more than silver and gold. No money is close to the value of having this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. She is more precious than rubies. So there it goes again. And all the things that can't desire are not to be compared unto her. Length of days is in her right hand and in her left hand, riches and honor. So uh, through holding on to this knowledge, wisdom and understanding, that's how we're going to receive a kingdom through holding on to this knowledge, wisdom and understanding. That is how we are going to receive everlasting life through her. Now, there ain't no other woman, not even a virtuous woman not even a virtuous woman of the Lord. Okay. If Sarah was here herself, which she's on earth somewhere, but if Sarah was here herself and she was acting like how she acted in the ancient world, she still would not have the ability to get you eternal life. But this knowledge, wisdom and understanding this woman can no other woman can do that. So this wisdom is priceless. And through this wisdom, we are going to receive a great kingdom. So let's close it with this. Okay. Let's go to the book. We're going to stay in Proverbs, but this time we're going to Proverbs chapter 12 and verse four. A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband, but she that maketh ashamed is a rottenness in his bones. So this is speaking of a literal woman. But again, this truth is also compared to a woman. The same thing that the scripture said about a virtuous woman, the same thing was said about this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. It's priceless. It's far above rubies. Okay? So through this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, we are going to receive a crown, just like how a righteous woman is a crown to her husband. We are going to receive a literal crown through Sophia. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and close it there. I'm going to give all thanks and praises unto our power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wa Rekakwada. Shalom.